there are two actual outlooks on the world possessed by every man. All right, there are two actual outlooks on the world possessed by every man. And the ancient storytellers were fully conscious of these two outlooks. They called the one the carnal mind and the other the mind of Christ. All right. We recognize these two centers of thought in the statement. The natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. The, to the natural man, reality is confined to the instant called now. This very moment seems to contain the whole of reality. Everything else is unreal. To the natural man, the past and the future are purely imaginary. In other words, my past, when I use the when I use the natural mind, is only a mere memory image of things that were. And to the limited focus of the carnal or natural mind, the future does not exist. All right, but what Neville is showing us, essentially, also what the Bible is um, pointing to, is that right, the natural man or the natural mind cannot see the things that is of the spirit, right? The spirit world. The natural mind does not believe that it could revisit the past and see it as something that is present something that is objective and concrete to itself so it's saying everything exists right the past the present and the future exist now neither does it believe that the future exists right they're saying the natural the man who thinks uh using his conscious mind or his carnal or natural mind doesn't realize because he has not yet found him true self spiritually, doesn't realize that the past, the present, and the future exist all in one, exist now. Like when you when we are going back thinking of something that happened in the past, we are essentially doing that now. So everything exists now. To the spiritual man, there is no past, present, or future, right? Let me start by reading here. To the Christ mind, the spiritual mind, which is our language. To the Christ mind, the spiritual mind, which in our language we would call the fourth dimensional focus. So Neville is calling that spiritual mind in this writing the fourth dimensional focus, right? We have three dimensions, but Neville is bringing on the fourth dimensional focus, right? There's actually more than three dimensions, and the spiritual people know that, right? Not religion, the spiritual. It's a difference. The past, the present, and the future of the natural mind are a present whole. Let's go back here. To the Christ mind, the spiritual mind, which in our language we'll call the fourth dimensional focus, the past, the present, and the future of the natural mind are a present whole, right? The Christ mind, everything exists now. It's a present whole, existing. Everything is here now, past, present, and future. That's thinking fourth dimensionally. That's Christ mind. It takes in, it takes in the entire array of sensory impressions that man has encountered is encountering and will encounter this is why so-called psychics that are true can tell you what will happen or what is happening 
in your future, so to speak, because everything exists now. They are able to tap in and see the whole. The only reason you are, the only reason you and I are functioning as we are today and are not aware of the greater outlook is simply because we are creatures of habit. And habit renders us totally blind to what otherwise we should see. But habit is not law. We can create a new approach to life. And this new approach, in my understanding, is learning to go within and think from the inside out. Create from the inside out consciously and deliberately. Because that's what we are doing anyway. We are creating from the inside out. The based, uh, based on how we feel, how we believe, how we imagine our world to be. So, in other words, what you want to experience in your outer 3D reality, we must first begin the habit of going within, closing the door, and imagining your life the, the way you desire it to be, right? So we can create a new approach to life. If you and I would spend a few minutes every day in withdrawing our attention from the region of sensation and concentrating it on an invisible state right what we desire to experience that's that's what an invisible state means it means visualizing on what you want and remain faithful to this contemplation feeling and sensing the reality of an invisible state we would in time become aware of this greater world this dimensionally larger world the state contemplated is now a concrete reality displaced in time. So everything exists now. You must go into it and visualize, feel, see yourself already being, doing, and having that which you desire to be, do, and have. Feel it. Become one with it. Don't, not thinking of it but thinking from it, as Neville says. Everything exists now. The carnal mind does not know this or cannot understand this. The spiritual mind, that's where everything is, the Christ mind. You can see the whole of everything. So you have to go in, shut the door, and know that I am. Right? Be still and know that I am God. Your, imag your imagination your beliefs, your ideas, your knowing, your feeling, that is the creative power. That is who we truly are. That is what we truly are. Thank you.